a relationship with the risen Lord Jesus Christ. You know what the second greatest Father's Day gift you could give anyone? Praise and worship on Sunday morning by Rich Mullins. Hey, guess what? Rich Mullins, the greatest, bar none, contemporary Christian music minister called our church and said, could we bless you on Sunday and come and lead and minister to your church? Now, we had to keep it a secret because this place couldn't hold everyone, so it's been a secret until now! Okay. Uh, you know, I served in a Methodist church for about four years, and they were not nearly this... Uh... <laughs> Do you guys know this song? It's a, uh, well, I'm going to sing, 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 and I'm going to shout, 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 and I'm going to sing, and I'm going to shout.
Sometimes we forget that, that the, the heritage of faith doesn't begin with Christ, except that Christ was before the beginning. Right. That the heritage of faith begins with Abraham, yeah. and that we are uh, connected yeah. in a spiritual sense with uh, the people of Israel. Right. And so, thank you very much for including that in your service. Now, you guys are going to do a good Davidic sort of praise thing. You're going to sing, hallelujah, 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 because that means... Basically, uh, give praise to or sing praise or, or praise or whatever you want to say, however you want to say it. So you guys will do that. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. And then you guys will do a good Hebrew thing. You're going to shout the name of the Lord. Now, the Hebrews had such regard for even the name of God that they wouldn't even say his whole name. As much of his name as they would say was, Yah! So that's your part. You get the fun part. And since we're in a Baptist church, you people over here are going to interpret for us. And you're going to sing, praise ye the Lord. Oh, remember how when you were a kid, you would stand up to do your part? Well, that's what we're going to do. So you guys will go, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. And you guys will go, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it? And you sit down and you guys stand up. Be a little bit like being Catholic here. Here we go. You guys go ahead and stand up just so you get a head start. Because I know some of your knees are not as active as these people. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Hallelujah, hallelujah. preachers quit is because their legs get tired. Because their legs never seem to. So you people will sit on yoga. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You guys will 
And it's hard to, to say exactly what it, what it is like because it's different from place to place. And, but we began to think a lot about uh, what it means to, to be from a, from a place. And I, I guess, you know, coming uh, from, a, from a church that has a long history of civil disobedience, I, I started out Quaker. Um, sometimes it, it's, sometimes people think that maybe we're anti-patriotic or something, that we don't love the place we live, but, but I, I think it's not so much a matter of whether you, whether, sometimes we think that loving something means that we always agree with it. And I think that uh, anyone who has accepted the values of Jesus Christ is going to live a good part of their lives in disagreement with a great part of the population around them. And I think if you love something, you don't love it because it's good. You don't love it because it's right. You love it because it is in you to do so. And it has nothing to do with uh, who's in office, what their position is, what you think of the landscape. You love your country because it's the one that you live in. And if you don't love that, what country are you going to love? You love your parents because they're the ones that that God put you in their care. And if you don't love your mother and father, what mother and father are you gonna to learn to love? You, uh, you bloom where you're planted. And you, uh, you are where you are. And so uh, we wrote this song. It probably took us longer to write this song than any other song we've ever worked on in our lives. And it's not a particularly good song, but after you put that much time in it, you're gonna play it. Really <laughs> This is a little Appalachian. It was invented in uh, Appalachia, which is where my uh, dad's people were from. And uh, a lot of Irish immigrants ended up there because the people in Boston didn't like them because they were, you know, the Boston was all full of Puritans who wanted religious freedom. But when the Catholic people started coming in, <laughs> freaked them out. They weren't so sure about the idea of freedom anymore. So uh, when the Irish couldn't get jobs in uh, Boston, they went to Appalachia. And, and mine coal and stuff, and uh, they invented these instruments, and uh, because they thought they sounded like bagpipes. I don't know. <laughs> Hit the spots that we're looking 
this church for is for uh, the, the Quakers, and I also went to the Christian church, and they're both anti-creedal. <laughs> and uh, but it was I remember the first time in the Methodist church when we all stood up and recited the Apostles' Creed. What a what a great experience it was for me to know that that I was not alone in what I believed. And uh, I, I I'm not sure that I could say I actually believe in the creed. I, I can say that I believe in the things that the creed gives witness to, and that there are realities that go beyond what we know, and but we point as best as we can. And uh, Bigger and I, when we, were, uh, we were on the plane on the way back from Europe, and we were talking about what some of the Europeans have some very challenging ideas for us about what it really means to be Christian, what it really means to be uh, a people of faith in, in, in the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Jesus. And uh, so uh, we were kind of going, well, what, what does it really mean? And uh, as we were assembling the things that we felt like were kind of essential in uh, Christianity, the weird thing was that, oddly enough, they resembled the Apostles' Creed very, very closely. So uh, so that's how we ended up writing this. This is a hammer note, so it's a biblical instrument. And uh, so I feel real holy when I play it. <laughs>
We're not going to let you go just yet. In fact, we're going. Would you mind coming up in a few minutes and doing one more song for us? We we uh, we just got to hear from you. I know that God is an awesome God. Uh, uh, Thank you for this man. Bless him.